Hi, I'm Jake and I did my undergraduate degree at the RAU in International Equine and Agricultural Business Management. I'm also a course builder up to four star level with part of David Evans' team. My background in horses, I've been riding since the age of 10 and I knew very little about hay other than that what I was feeding was just meadow hay um, until coming to the RAU and we've learned a lot about different sorts of hay, different species and it's given me the interest to look into how the different species of hay affects what's in it, its nutrient content, its bacterial profile and whether where the hay is from or the species is an effect on that. I'm looking at how the different wetting treatments used by the average horse owner, steaming, uh, soaking and soaking followed by steaming, uh, affects the different bacterial profiles of hay. I'm starting off by uh, getting hay from all around the country, treating it in those ways, uh, soaking or steaming, and then sampling those, treating them with a special chemical that gets rid of the dead bacteria before it's going to be sent away for uh, DNA sequencing. I think we feed hay so regularly to horses because it is the most common forage feed, but we know so little about it and I think it's really important to understand what's in it and what could be potentially causing uh, poor health to horses. I'm hoping I can find how the different uh, soaking treatments and steaming uh, show a completely different sort of bacteria depending on how they've been treated and whether there's any difference between uh, different species of hay as well as where the hay is from around the country. I think with the knowledge I'm hoping to get from this experiment it might encourage horse owners to think more about what, they, what they're doing with the hay before feeding it to their horses, not just doing things that have been done because they've been done for so long and are part of normal understood uh, horsemanship, which maybe might not be the best practice.